Hello and uh, welcome to the Machona podcast. I hope you've had a great week. Now, um, this um, week we are back with uh, a new recording in the series that we are calling uh, Boy Meets Go. Uh, the last recording that we had, we were talking about the first date uh, in your search for a new relationship. Now, this uh, week we are talking about um, the do's and don'ts of the new relationship. And uh, as usual, we found some tips uh, off the internet, which I am hopeful uh, they would be um, helpful to uh, those who are um, seeking to know how to handle that new relationship. So I will be looking this way because that's where my monitor is, uh, just to uh, read off uh, the the tips that I'll be talking about. And then um, hopefully we would be able to discuss all that in the comment section. Now, um, the first um, uh, tip that I would want to talk about is uh, do turn up on time. What does that mean? Um, When you have uh, arranged to meet with uh, your new partner, please do turn up on time. Uh, Don't go with the African time or Zambian time. Um, That kind of just disturbs me a bit because it's just an excuse for people to be late and personally I do not like um, when people are late to, um, you know, like arrangements that we have made and in a similar fashion I try to be at least um, 15 minutes early uh, whenever I'm going uh, somewhere that, uh, uh, you know, like for a meeting or whatever. So please do develop a habit of um, showing up early or at least on time because that um, to your new partner who's still learning things about you, that will at least show them that you are committed and at least that you are excited to to, to see them uh, on that particular meeting. The second one is uh, don't talk about how great you are. I know we've done great things in life and it's always um, a... I I don't know how I would put it, but it's... uh, you know, when you run out of things to, to talk about, uh, usually you just start rambling on about your life and um, the, the best thing seems to be the good things that you have done or the good things that you are able to do. But uh, please do that in moderation because if you uh, then hype yourself too much, um, which I have learned um, this uh, the hard way a few times where um, you hype your abilities too much and then when the time comes, something that you are unable to control now um, leaves you looking ordinary and you can't really uh, explain. Or, um, but it, just, it, it also just um, um, it gives the impression that you might be maybe full of yourself Uh, So please do uh, tone down on that. Uh, Instead, um, ask a lot of questions, which we'll talk about um, uh, in in a while as well. Ask a lot of questions so that your partner um, uh, feels that you are more interested in getting to know them. And uh, in the same fashion, they will be asking you questions. And and that that way you um, at least get information that is useful for both parties. The third one is do be interested. Be interested in what your partner is um, sharing. Uh, Be interested in even how your partner is looking. I mean, show them that you appreciate uh, the effort they've put into meeting up with you. Show them that you are interested in um, getting to know their mind as well. Um, And that is um, only showed by, you know, even body language. You don't just ask a question and whilst your partner is explaining, you are like, that is um, uh, not good when, you know, you're you're having a conversation with someone, you ask them a question and your your, your eyes are, you know, jumping um, up and down, you know, looking at the the backgrounds and all that. Um, Show them that you're interested by actually looking at them and, um, and getting off what they are saying. The fourth one is don't keep checking your phone. Don't keep checking your phone. This is a huge problem nowadays. Back then, you you didn't have that that kind of problem because phones weren't that common. But nowadays, it is a huge issue because everybody has a phone and everybody has social media. 
and social media is lit social media is happening so you always have you know that um, that urge to look at your phone with the notifications coming in and um, whenever um, you know there's a dry spell in conversation you always have that urge to look at your phone but please try not to do that a lot um, if um, necessary or if possible please put your phone on silent and in your pocket or in your bag or whatever it is wherever you you, you would be carrying it uh, in but um, just make sure that your phone does not become a distraction do listen more it is hard sometimes um, because uh, maybe um, you do not really like the um, the, the topic that your partner is uh, bringing up so you we, we, you have the urge to you know talk more um, I know I do that a lot uh, I I talk too much sometimes uh, but it's it's not a good thing um, when you are meeting a person for the first time sometimes though I would say sometimes though it is because uh, it makes the other person comfortable because uh, some people uh, take time to warm up to um, uh, their new partners so um, the, if the other partner is uh, talking a bit more than them it kind of eases the pressure off of them to think about things to say but just don't overdo it um, don't overdo it to the point where somebody's just like oh he's talking again or she's talking again you know just uh, watch the body language and then um, a gauge on where to come in or where to feel uh, that that um, a bit of silence so be mindful but do listen more um, when your partner is talking do not interrupt them let them finish what they're talking about and then you can uh, now be able to uh, come in with your ideas as well the other one is don't be underdressed hmm. this I, I kind of feel like this one is uh, dependent on the occasion uh, or or, um, uh, or on the, um, the the environment that you could be in, because um, sometimes casual is the best because it it has you loosened up. Um, it, casual sometimes uh, helps you to um, you know switch activities quickly or seamlessly without um, looking a bit weird. Because um, if you are dressed smart. There are certain things that you can't do because of how you're dressed. But uh, just make sure that you dress appropriately. Make sure that um, uh, the, you, you, you are dressed according to the environment, or the environment or the activities that you're going to or you have planned to do. And uh, also bear in mind, um, if there is a change of um, activity, uh, you won't be um, feeling out of place uh, based on how you are dressed but just make sure you are respectful of the, your partner in your dressing and sometimes it's it's good to even you know like discuss first of all what what you both um, are planning to do on on that particular meeting or meetings because that will give you an indication of how you both um, are going to to appear you don't just come randomly and somebody's putting on a tuxedo and the other one is in what jeans and t-shirt that comes a bit awkward for both but so just be mindful of that the other one is do ask questions some people um i've, I've had uh, a few conversations where some people uh, flat out complain that they feel like they're being interrogated and um, when you're just trying to get to know them now um, I believe in you know asking questions when I'm trying to get to know someone I'll definitely ask you questions now um, if you do not ask me then that's on you but um, for you to know what I am about I believe um, you are supposed to ask because I can't just start talking about you know like things randomly because I don't know if that's what you want to hear so um, the best thing I feel is if you want to learn something about your partner ask them questions just don't don't do it you know like 10 questions in a row 
give them chance to speak as well give them chance to find out things about you as well um, but yeah definitely do ask questions don't assume things ask questions even if it's um even if it's a disagreement ask questions first don't just um, get upset and start talking based on assumptions or how you assume they were thinking ask them questions and then from their answers that's where now you gauge um, whether they, um, they did whatever they did intentionally or if it was just um, uh, a mistake or, or whatever um, number eight is don't try to be perfect uh, this happens usually when judging people or other couples or whoever and um, where we always uh, think what we do is uh, the right thing to do but just be careful with that one because you might seem to be um, a bit hypocritical um, where you, um, you you try to look like the holier than thou um, kind of thing where um, everything you know about the other person or maybe they are sharing about their life and then you are just there you know uh, passing on your comments on what could have been done better or how you would have done better in a given situation so let's remember none of us is perfect and when you are in a relationship you are there to learn that's the first thing you are in a new relationship to learn and not to show what you know so um, have the mind to learn first and don't um, uh, try to be perfect humble yourself learn and then pick it up from there the other one is make eye contact some people are shy but at least do try to look at the other person now um one great um tip that I learned uh, when you're talking to someone and you want to appear as if you're making eye contact is to look at them right in the middle of the forehead. When you're looking at someone right in the middle of their forehead, just above the, 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 the eye, eyebrows, um, it looks like you are actually looking at them, but in actual sense you're not. Uh, because it's uh, it's the the meeting of the eyes that make people nervous um, especially when they're talking to someone new but if you look at them just just above the eyebrow you would look like you're making eye contact even though you're shy and that would uh, at least uh, give them that uh, bit of um, um, a, a comfortability uh, to know that you are actually um, you you actually care about them and and the like the other one is uh, don't spend too long talking about past relationships. It is tempting, um, especially when, um, when, when your new partner has been in a few more relationships than what you would have expected, then, or with some, some characters that you think, you know, like we're a bit sketchy. Uh, yeah, so you tend to ask more questions um, or, on, on what they've done in the past. or but And, and then sometimes as well, it feels like um, like we, we tend to feel like you would learn uh, a bit more about them. But um, in actual sense, that makes a lot of people um, a bit um, uncomfortable because uh, they feel um, judged if you're asking too many questions about their past relationships because it's like um, I'm with you now like why do you want to know what I was doing with the other person so it's it's like okay this is a new a, a clean slate so to speak so I don't want to dwell more on what I did in the past so um, you can ask one or two questions but that should be enough and then move on to um, trying to build what you now have because be happy they're with you so it doesn't matter if they've been with 10 20 other people um, what you need to, to to be happy with is that they are now with you and uh, you have a chance to build something that is more than what has failed in the past for them and for yourself as well the 11th one is to be honest this is very important because as they say, um, lies uh, usually take a full circle and come back to you or to bite you actually. So be honest, um, especially when you're starting out a new relationship. Be honest, please. Speak the truth. 
um, even if it's uh, it's it's not exactly um, pleasant, but uh, it's it, I, I feel it's uh, it's good to let people know exactly um, uh, what you are all about, the good and the bad, so that they can now make a decision for themselves to be with you or not to be. Because if it's done early, when you know feelings are not in too deep then uh, it, it makes things um, better, I, I believe. Uh, instead of um, somebody coming to find out, you know, maybe six months down the line or one year down the line, and then um, now it's it's all hard to, to, to let go of what you've started building. So in the early stages, please do be honest. Um, if, if, if it hurts the other person, if you're able to explain it better for them, please do that. Uh, so that at least um, when you are starting to build something, you already know the dirt and also the clean parts of uh, the, the person that you are dealing with and they know um, about you as well. 12. Don't think too far ahead. Ooh, I just met you and I can see myself um, on, at the altar with you. Yeah, that gives false expectations in most cases and um, it, it leaves people heartbroken in many cases. So um, start step by step and uh, when you are learning things about them, learn things step by step. Don't get into deep uh, too early because you are supposed to leave a room for disappointment since it's a, it's a whole different person that you are dealing with. Um, so anything is possible, be cautious but give give hundred percent to what you are trying to to build and if they do the same then you can quickly learn um, about yourselves and, uh, and, and and move forward but mm, do not think too far ahead thirteen I know a lot of um, ladies especially in my community would not really be too happy about this one but it's a uh, do offer to pay the bill so on that date that you're going on please do offer to pay the bill <laughs> yeah um, usually um, I, I, I say it in my community because um, in, 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 in our setting um, as Zambia um, we well, society pretty much believes that you know when a lady has uh, has a boyfriend then the boyfriend takes care of the finances pretty much and uh, so I, I don't think they are but, but they are there are uh, a lot of uh, ladies actually who try to break that mold but uh, most of uh, the, the ones that I know are expecting the guy to be the one providing in the relationship um, but um, it's it's also good, you know, like once in a while, someone else chips in. Like even as the lady, chip in once in a while as well. Pay the bill, surprise the guy. I mean, yeah, we all we, we also want to have the O's and the R's. You know, you oh, she paid the bill. You know, instead of uh, you um, inviting the guy out on a date and then just sitting there waiting for him to to pay it. That's uh, that's that's a bit um, a, a bit off-putting, but um, yeah, do offer to pay the bill if you are able to. Please do it. That's somebody that you are going to or you're planning to build um, a, a life with. So um, it's not like you're wasting your money. It's uh, it's it's sort of like you're investing into that relationship. Now, investing into a relationship doesn't just mean words or whatever. It also can be that little bit of you know once in a while finance um i know the guys i, I wouldn't talk much to, uh, to to the guys on this one because we pay most of the bills anyways but yeah that's 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 a good thing as well once in a while surprise that person don't use cheesy lines <sighs> mm. we are clowns sometimes i know and we do say cheesy lines a lot but I this one I think it depends on how you uh, you, you are relating with, um, with with that particular person because sometimes you know like you just click and you're both really I don't know for lack of a better word not right up there so um, there are a lot of dry jokes in the relationship 
but um, let me see first of all what cheesy lines they have here. So it says, um, you are not 13 years old and more so don't even go there. Cheesy lines should be left to teenagers, movies and people that have no interest in ever dating again. Not wise, not cool enough. Enough said on this one. But I, on, on this one, I'm just on the, on the fence a bit because I, I, I do seriously think it, it all depends on, um, on, on how you are connecting with the person because uh, they are, you know, like those fun relationships where it just, you just start out, you know, like you're just having fun with each other. Like you just, you, you, you feel like you've known the person uh, for a long time and you can literally joke about it lot of nonsense um yeah so it i i feel it's uh, it, it depends on the 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 person that you are with and how you're relating and you're able to judge based on you know like the the few conversations that you've had uh, previously so on this one I'm a, I'm a bit on the fence but let's just put it avoid those cheesy lines until you have fully known the person and you can just have a laugh about it and, and move on the last one, which is um, uh, tip number 15, is do throw in a compliment or two. I, I feel like this, this should have been the first tip, really, because, um, yeah, for, for the ladies, um, those compliments, I believe, do go a long way. You know, like you see the lady and you're like, oh, you're looking beautiful today, or I like your hair, or oh, that back looks nice, or those shoes look nice, you know, like those those small small um you know uh, compliments that you throw in now um when when you overdo it as well uh it's it seems a bit uh sort of like a bit rehearsed but um yeah um just um be sincere um obviously you are with that person because you like um, how they look or you like how they act so you definitely are going to have um a, a ton load of um of, of things to complete talk to compliment them about so uh, please do remember to do that don't um, relate with them like you would with uh, with the other with the guys because obviously it, it's 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 weird you know like trying to many compliments at um, a guy friend uh, if, if you're you're the guy anyways or if you're well the ladies ladies for them it's it's uh it's easy uh, they do compliment each other and uh, and that's normal but with the guys usually it's like um, it's, it's a bit sketchy but um yeah if you are dealing with a person of the opposite sex guys do like um to be complimented as well you know it just kind of makes you feel like yeah, yeah you know uh so yeah um whichever fence you're on um please uh, do remember to compliment your partner every now and then um, that makes you uh, that makes them feel that you are still appreciating them that makes um, makes them feel that they you, you are noticing the effort that they are putting in maybe in their outlook and uh, also that makes uh, them feel that you are in support of um, um, whatever they're doing whether it be career wise or um, it be just some something that they are doing in their life you know if you know some something about it compliment them you know tell them um, you are in support of what they are doing um, and that 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 builds um, that bond you know of uh, someone trying to share more um, about themselves to you because they um, have seen that you are um, in support of um, whatever it is that they are they are doing and uh, on that note I will say um, bye bye for now uh, we'll most likely see you again next week um, but uh, in the meantime uh, please do um, subscribe uh, to my channel uh, YouTube uh, that's uh, the Matrona podcast and uh, also um, like my uh, and share my page as well with, on Facebook which is uh, Matrona podcast and uh, the uh, the audio also can be found on um, uh, www.matrona.com, which is my website. And uh, you can leave your comments on YouTube, uh, Facebook, and also the website as well. And uh, if you do leave the comments, I would definitely make sure to uh, reply to whatever comments you leave. And this could be about you know, uh, future uh, topics. It could be about what you think um, about this particular episode or 
um, anything that uh, is important you feel and uh, I, I have left out. So, but just let's just um, get interactive and uh, we will talk again next week.